Good morning. <laughs> I love campgrounds. Generators. <laughs> Dogs that never stop barking. <laughs> it's great. All right, so who had the bet? Come on, who had the bet? The $1 bet that I would not stay put anywhere for one solid week. Well, I guess I owe you a dollar. I have moved around. I'm over in the Gila National Forest of New Mexico, <laughs> probably four or five hours away from the previous video. So I love waking up in the morning to a barking dog and generator, you know, it's just, it's just wonderful. <laughs> Got my new shower tent up and here's the Maddie wagon. This tree, these are ponderosas, I believe. Look at this massive ponderosa. I didn't know the Gila had ponderosas like this. Massive, but this is a cool campsite. Picnic table, fire pit, which I, I'll probably have a fire tonight since someone left me some wood. That's nice. Uh, no trash service here, no water. Uh, there may be a pit toilet, but it's free for 14 days. And I gotta show you this. This took a lot of work. Someone made a big table out of an old log. That's pretty incredible. This campground's pretty big. It's like two or three loops. I just rode through and found the first spot, site that was not taken. And in this loop, I think I found the only one. Let's see, I need to get my thumbnail, don't I? Let's do it. I like doing it this way, you know. I always use a thumbnail that's part of the video. You know, people have gone kind of crazy on thumbnails lately, using those AI generated thumbnails. I just don't know what to think about that. Anyway, okay, there's my thumbnail. I'll use that. There is a micro van camper over there that looks pretty cool. I'll take an e-bike ride later today and uh, ride around. Oh, that campsite actually has a real pavilion. Mine does not, but mine has massive ponderosas. But I like this site. It's very large and it backs up to private property. Let me show you this. Some things I look for in a campsite, especially when I go to a campground, I do not like camping in the inner loop. I like the outer loop. You see this fence here? This is the boundary. On the other side of this fence is private land, so there's no campers back here. But, you know, I'm just kidding about the noise. It's really been very quiet, except this morning <laughs> with the generators and the dog. Oh, that dog. You know I love dogs, but holy cow, let's be real. When you got one that barks for like an hour straight, <laughs> come on. I don't know. I might use a thumbnail from like this side, something like this. We'll see. We'll see when the video comes out. But I've already been here a night. I think I'll do two more nights. And then it's going to be time to do laundry. So I'll move on down towards Silver City. And do laundry down there. Alright, so now it's time for cup of coffee number two. Oh, before I get the e-bike out, let me show you this. I've had so many questions about this. This is how I store it. So I pull the covers back from the edge of the bed here. So here's the edge of the bed. I have a twin size bed and the e-bike folds up. I don't even know if you can understand how this is folded up because it folds up so much. So the bike folds in half and then the handlebars fold down. And look at this, I have more than enough room. I've got, I can put my fist here between the bike and the bed. And that's how I carry it. I've had so many questions about that. And I thought, man, I got to get around to showing people how I do this. Let me show you the other stuff I got back here. So the Starlink is back here. Let me show you that. I keep it tucked right there. See the dish? And this time I forgot to stow it so the pipe is sticking out. But usually 
I hit the stow button and the pipe folds up. But the last time I used it, I forgot to do that. So I just stuck it in there that way, but it still fits. And there's my electric guitar in the black case. There's my tarp poles. Let's see, what else is back here? Oh, my dirty laundry is in this thing. When I get two of those filled up, I know it's time to do laundry. My propane tank down there, which is empty at the moment. And this is the, the backpack that I put all my e-bike stuff in. And I just put it, when I take a long ride, I put it here on the rack. So I have everything with me. I mean, everything from an extra tire tube to bike pump, all kind of stuff. But you can see this bike, it really folds up better than the, all the others I've had. It's just a little bit shorter wheelbase. It makes all the difference. And, you know, I'm short on space. I'm, I'm, I'm living in a standard van. I'm not in a big, you know, ProMaster or anything. Just a regular old Chevy Express GMC Savannah van. So, that's this is my trunk. So, here's the bed. And there's the back door. And I guess it's about, what's that, 18 inches maybe? Maybe even 20 inches of space. But this is the better fitting bike than any I've ever had. And over here is... Just other stuff I have. I have electric blanket down in there. Also keep my shower supplies right there in the corner. They hang on that bungee there. And they just tuck down in that little cubby hole. The shovel, which I haven't used in forever. But, you know, I go to a lot of places where a shovel is actually required before you can even camp there. And I have had one ranger actually check on that. It is true. It's the only time in all these years I had one ranger ask me, do you have a shovel? Can I see it? Because you have to be able to put out your campfires properly, which requires shovel, dirt, and water. So I had the shovel there, and it's just uh, attached to the back door. But there's my trunk space. So I hope this explains it all now. And I'm sorry I've taken so long to getting around to answering that question. Well, I guess I could do it this way too. So coming in from the back door, this is a better perspective so you could really see how it's all packed in here. So, and it really is packed in here. I have no more room for anything else. I'm done with stuff. I have all the stuff I can carry. Let's see, down in there. There's Starlink, and here's a view from the back door over to the bed. And there it all is. Hey, I just noticed something. The generator shut off. Oh, this is glorious now. All right, so I just realized I just did an e-bike uh, ride video, so we won't do that in this one. Instead, I will tell you, Current elevation is 6,500 feet, high temperature of about 75 today, and with all these shady trees, might even feel cooler than that. It is supposed to be breezy today, so I always check the weather, and especially to check the wind speed. And since it's going to be breezy, I decided to stake down the tent in all eight points instead of just four. Most of the time, I just stake down, you know, the four corners around the bottom. But this time, I went ahead and put in the extra support lines and stake those down on four corners. You got to do that with these little nylon tents. <laughs> They'll just, the wind will come up while you're in there. And it always happens while you're in the shower. <laughs> Never fails. All right, so uh, I never did get that second cup of coffee. So I'm going to go and do that, and uh, that'll do it for today. Check in later. Thanks for watching. Take care, be well, and smash the bell.